Let's add a user to Maximizer. We begin by going to Administration and clicking on Administrator. We then click on Users. If your new user is replacing an existing user, click on that user and click over here to disable them and then click Save. Now click Add. This drop-down arrow here allows you to copy the properties, including permissions, from an existing user to your new user. If you do not have an existing user whose properties you want to copy, leave the drop-down selection at None and click OK for the new user. Later you can set the properties and permissions as you want them. But if there is an existing user who has the same properties and permissions you want for this new user, select them from the drop-down list. You can even select the user you just disabled. The same properties and permissions will automatically be applied to your new user. After you click OK, first specify the new user's ID and email address. The user ID cannot be subsequently changed and the new user cannot be activated without a proper email address. But the other items can be changed later as needed, and if the user's email address also later changes, that can be adjusted as well. Make sure that you click over here and enable this new user, and then click Save. If you have forgotten any important information, Maximizer will prompt you to add it. In this case, we add the name for Sam, and we have to add his last name. After we do that, we get his display name of Sam Wilson and we're good to go. At this point when we click Save, Maximizer will tell us that an email has been sent to this new user so that he can activate his account and we simply click OK. After you have added a new user, even when you've copied somebody else's permissions to that user, we recommend as a best practice that you come back and take a look at the access rights you've given this user to make sure that is what you intended to do. We also recommend that you restrict global edit from any user until you are satisfied they understand the impact global edit can have on your database and are experienced enough to use it properly. When you're satisfied with the review that you've done, click Save Settings and click Save Again to come back to your general user list. Finally, to check on how many users are currently enabled, sort the Web Access column and make a quick count down here. Bye for now.